हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू इंजीनियर्स अकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैव एंड डन इट हिट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच सीज दैट टू प्लेन्स ए एंड बी आर फ्लाइंग एट द सेम अल्टीट्यूड इफ़ देयर वेलास्टीज आर 500 किलोमीटर पर आवर एंड वी बी इक्व टू सेवन किलोमीटर पर आवर सच देट द एंगल बिटवीन द स्ट्रेट लाइन कोर्स इज सिक्सटी डिग्री डिटरमिन द वेलास्टी ऑफ प्लेन बी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू प्लेन ए so we have to find the velocity of plane b with respect to plane a and this is always equal to vb minus va so we have to find this right so we we want to find the vb vector so this is vb vector minus va vector so this is the main equation now we can do we can solve this problem by two methods one is by resolving vectors and the other one is by the graphical method so i will solve this using those two methods so first we will solve this problem by using the graphical method so by graphical method what i mean is that we will use the head to tail rule so by head to tail rule we we need to subtract uh, we a vector from we b so we have to add the negative uh, we a vector with we b so we have to reverse the direction of we a and then we have to add that uh, reverse direction of we a with we b so let's say let's say that this is my vb vector vb is directed in this direction this is my vb let me write it as vb and va is acting in this direction so we have to take minus va so minus va is going to act uh, vertically upward so this will be our va vector so this is my this is my va vector and this is this is minus va since we are taking it in the reverse direction so vb so vb minus va this will give us vba uh, from by using the head to tail rule so so this will be my vba and now if i if i extend this uh, vb and if i extend this va so here we have that angle is 60 this angle is 60 and we can say that this angle is 60 as well so if if this angle is 60 and this whole angle is 180 then this angle is 120 so we can write that this angle is 120 if i draw va in that same direction right if if this is my va let me draw that va let's say if we take va in its original direction let's say this is my va and if i take it in my original direction if i place it here and then if i this is this is our va this is in the positive direction and now if i take vb in its original direction this is my vb and if i place it here so this is va this is vb so from the from the head of a to the head of b that will give us vba if we take va and vb in their original direction one method is that if we add if we subtract va vector from vb by adding the negative va vector with vb just like this this is vb this is the negative vector of va if we add both of these so we will get vba and one method is that if we take vb original vector and we take va original vector and if we join these two vectors by their tails so we will get vba from a to b from the head of a to the head of b so this is one another method both will give us the same answer so this is vba now we can apply we, we want to find this vba magnitude so we can apply the law of cosines since we know va magnitude and vb magnitude and the included angle between these two so now i will write that uh, vb this vb is given this is 700 kilometer per hour and va is given this is 500 kilometer per hour now by law of cosines we can write that vba square this is equal to va square plus vb square minus 2 into va into vb and cos of the included angle which is 120 degrees so this va is 500 this is 500 square plus 700 square 
minus 2 into 500 into 700 cos of 120 degrees and if we take the square root then we will be able to find that VBA relative velocity magnitude this is magnitude remember so this is 500 square plus 700 square minus 2 into 500 multiplied by 700 cos of 120 so this gives us the magnitude equals to 1044 approximately so 1044 kilometer per hour so the velocity of plane b with respect to a is the magnitude of that velocity is 100 and, uh, 1044 kilometer per hour and the direction of vba is is in this direction now we have to find the angle of this vba with the horizon we have to find this angle so to find this angle we can we, we have to find this angle let's say let's say that this angle is alpha so we have to find this angle and here we know this angle let's say if i draw a horizontal line here at at the head of vb so this whole angle this whole angle is 90 and this is 60 then this angle is 30 so we can say that that this angle is 30 so if this angle is 30 if if this angle is 30 then this vb is also making 30 degree angle here so let me write that the here we have that here we have this angle equals to 30 so now we have to find that alpha angle so if we find the alpha angle then the angle of vba with horizontal will be alpha this this alpha plus this 30 degree so let's say that the angle of vba is theta so that will be equal to alpha plus 30 degree now we can find alpha angle by using the law of cosines so by using the law of cosines we can write that sine of alpha divided by the magnitude of the opposite side so the opposite side is va and va magnitude is we know that is 500 so we will write 500 divided by 500 this will be equal to sine of 120 degrees and the magnitude of the opposite side so so in the opposite side of 120 degree angle we have vba so VBA magnitude is 1044. So this alpha angle, this alpha angle is equal to 500. This is sine inverse 500 sine of 120 degree divided by 1044. So this is 500 sine of 120 divided by 1044 so this gives us alpha angles alpha angle equals to 24.50 and now the angle of vba with the horizontal the angle of vba with the horizontal is this alpha plus this 30 degrees so we can write that theta is alpha alpha is 24.50 plus 30 this is equal to 54.50 degrees so now we can draw that vba vector so this is vba vector this is vba and it is making 54.50 angle with the horizontal so if i draw a horizontal line here so it is making 54.50 degree angle and its magnitude is 1044 kilometer per hour now if you want to find if you want to find the vector or the components of this vba so we can resolve it right so it will have two components one of its component is is going to act in this direction this one will be the cost component this one will be the cost component we will have the sine component so this will be v b a x and this is v b a y so now v b a x v b a x this is equal to uh, 1044 cos of that 54.50 this is 1044 cos of 54.50 this gives us 606.25 606.25 kilometer per hour and similarly v b a y will be the sine component that is in, that will be 1044 sine of 
1044.50 sine of 54.50 this gives us 849.94 kilometer per hour now we can write that v b a vector that v b a vector will be equal to uh, 606.25 in the positive i plus 849.94 in the positive j so th this solution we got by using the graphical method by using the head to tail rule and using the law of cosines and law of sines now there is one another method in which we, we, we resolve this v b and v a into its components we find the cartesian vector representation of both of these vectors and then we add them so now let let me solve this problem by using that method again so we have to resolve we have to write the cartesian vector representation of vb and va so now this vb is making 60 degree with the vertical so if this is if if this is vb so it will have two components one of its component is going to act in this direction and it will have one component in this direction so this component will be uh, vb cos of 60 let me write this will be vb magnitude is 700 so this will be 700 cos of 60 and this one will be 700 sine of 60 and similarly va is acting in the downward direction and let me write that this is our positive x and this is our positive y direction so now we can write that vb vector that is equal to this component this sine component is acting in the positive i so we will write that this is 700 sine of 60 in the positive i and then we have this this component is acting in the positive j so we will write that plus 700 cos of 60 j so this is 700 sine of 60 this is 606 point two two and then we have seven hundred cos of sixty this gives us three fifty this is three fifty j now v a is let me write that v a so v a has um, the x component of v a is zero so we can write that this is zero i since v a is only acting in the negative j direction that is in the negative y so we will write minus 500j now vba we can write that vba vector that is equal to vb vector minus va vector now we have cartesian vector representation of vb and va so we have to write that vb is 606.22i plus 350j minus va so va is 0i minus 500j so this will be we, we have to add the i component with i this is 606.22i plus 350j minus 0i and, and minus into minus this will become plus 500j so now if i add i with i component so that will this is this is 606.22i and this is 0 so we will get 606.22i and then we have to add both of these this is plus 350 and plus 500 so this will give us uh, 850 so this is 850j so this is vba now if we compare this this is 606.25 this is 606.22 and this is 849.94 which is approximately 850 so this is 850 so we get that same cartesian vector representation of vba by using this uh, vector approach similarly we can find that uh, angle of vba with the horizontal since this is uh, if i draw that vba vector so this is vba vector and this is vbx and this is vby so vb this is vbx which is 606.22 and this is 850 so 
by by using the pythagoras theorem we can find that we be a magnitude which we got by using the law of cosine so this will be 606.22 square plus 850 square so this will give us uh, 606.22 square plus 850 square this gives us that same magnitude which is 1044 kilometer per hour and this is the angle of v b a uh, with with the horizontal this is that angle theta so we can find this angle theta by applying tan theta so we will write that tan theta is perpendicular so perpendicular is 850 divided by base which is 606.22 so theta will be equal to 10 inverse so 10 inverse of 850 divided by 606.22 so this gives us 54.50 that same angle which we got by using the graphical analysis so this is 54.50 degrees so this is the magnitude of VBA which is 1044 km per hour this is the angle of the VBA with the horizontal which is 54.50 and this is the Cartesian vector representation of that VBA the velocity of plane B with respect to plane A. So this is the solution of this particular problem I hope this will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning also subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems from Hippler Dynamics.